Hello, citizens of the planet. Welcome back to Monday Musings with Larry Lelly. And this past week, um, definitely the highlight of my week, was making my conducting debut at my Broadway show, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And I thought it might be interesting for uh, all of you to learn a little bit about what the role of a Broadway conductor is and how that's different from a conductor which you may have seen before, perhaps at your local uh, symphony orchestra, or maybe at a concert choir concert that you went to, or maybe even just on TV if you've seen the 4th of July fireworks with the Boston Pops Orchestra. You'll see the conductor in front of all those groups. Waving this, a conductor's baton, that little white stick that you see them flailing about in front of whoever they're conducting. Um, the main difference between conducting a Broadway show and conducting those groups are those groups you're just conducting one group of musicians or singers. For a Broadway show, you're conducting two groups. You're conducting the musicians in the orchestra pit, which are below the stage, and also all the singers and dancers and actors, which are up here on the stage above the orchestra pit. And the conductor will stand somewhere here in the middle so that we can see both the, the cast and the orchestra. And they can all see the conductor. And we're the conductor is really the only link between the two. That They can't see each other. They can often not hear each other very well. So it's our job to keep these two groups together at all times and to keep the show moving seamlessly, hopefully. <laughs> The challenge of that uh, can be that the show is live every night at our show. Nothing is pre-recorded. Everything is live. All the music, all the singing, it's all live. And it's very human, and it changes slightly from night to night. Everyone's going to be feeling a little differently each day. Somebody didn't get a lot of sleep, and so they're tired, or they had eight hours of uh, rehearsal earlier that day before the show, and so they're physically tired, or... They just had a bunch of birthday cake at intermission and everybody's full of sugar and excited and wants to play really fast. It's the conductor's job to kind of take all that in, see the big picture, and even it all out and make sure that everybody is still on the same page together at the same tempo, the same dynamic level, you know, if they're loud or soft or fast or slow. It's the conductor's job to equalize that all out and to make it seem like everybody is totally together at the same place at the same time to make that happen. I just wanted to shed a little light into what that role entails and uh, hope it helped. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.